It's measuring the height from the ultrasonic range sensor. It's just a straight analog to digital reading. You can see it going down and up. And then uh, the X motion, Y motion is a straight reading from the ADNS mouse chip telling whether the, it senses any translation. So you can see X motion positive, X motion negative, Y motion positive, and Y motion negative. So I don't know if we want to shoot the, the helicopter actually translating. Okay, cover all those things. Um, so now I'm going to put it into what's autonomous mode. So now it's going to take the integral of the x and y motion and keep track of it. So we should be able to see zero crossover and measure of translation in uh, plus or minus one. So now we can see the, on the screen it says it's in autonomous mode and it's still it's showing the desired height, which is the height at which the helicopter was when it goes into autonomous mode. The TransX DC measures the X direction translation, either positive, goes up to one, or you know, negative with zero crossover. Same thing with the Y direction. You see the numbers increasing and decreasing. And the, uh, so now we show the mode. It's also printing the, the autonomous mode. So right now it's in, in mode zero, which is fully, which just means that the, con the controller is still being controlled manually with the receiver. Um, and I can put it in control mode one, which means that the, the throttle is being controlled by the helicopter, so I no longer have control, but I still have failure on elevator control. And then control mode two means I've lost all control. And I can put it back in manual mode. Control manually from the controller. Fair enough. All right. Okay, so let's go something. I think so. What do you think? Okay, no, I think you got it. Oh, we could do the, let's do the Z-axis, the built-in gyro. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to, is it going right now? Hmm? You might want to start working on the window over here. Oh. So now I'm going to show the, the Z-axis. Yeah, right. I'm going to show the Z-axis compensator for, so I'm just going to get the blade spinning a little bit. And now you will see as the elevator, as it turns, it spins the appropriate blade to counteract that torque. And that operates in both manually and autonomous mode. That's what So I'm going to take off in uh, fully manual control mode, and then I'm going to put it in autonomous height control mode. So it's going to control its height fully. It's going to completely disengage my throttle channel, and then I'm going to direct it down the down the stairs using the aileron, and hopefully it'll maintain a constant height while going down the steps.
Okay, get it hovering about three feet. Okay, turn it on. It needs to be in mode two now. So it's going to be the mode tracker tonight. Make sure it stays in mode two. Um, and it should stay in one place. And then if we feel comfortable with it, you can come push it if you want. Okay. Yeah. So if the camera's there, you might want to push it, make it this way. Thank <laughs> you. 